Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we are covering the first part of our eGPU video series, which will give you guys a quick rundown of how you can get an eGPU setup with any Mac. We will be using ours with the iMac Pro and more specifically, we'll be running an NVIDIA GeForce 1080 Ti Hybrid Edition. Hybrid means it is water cooled, so this will be an extremely efficient yet quiet setup for our iMac Pro. Let's get started. So first thing is first, we're using the Sonnet EGFX breakaway box and that will be housing our 1080 Ti. This setup is Thunderbolt 3 compatible, which means we will be getting the max data transfer speeds between our eGPU box and our iMac Pro. I'm not going to go over pricing specifically because graphics cards are so overpriced right now, but when these prices are normalized, you should see this as a very good upgrade if you are gaming, editing content, or maybe you are creating something using software which requires a lot of GPU processing. Moving on and let's check out exactly what comes with this breakaway box. This is how it comes, it's pretty bare when you receive it, but there will be a fan mounted on the back here if you are using an air cooled GPU. But since we are opting for water cooled, I've gone ahead and taken that off. Either than that, we will have the motherboard on the bottom right there and then our power supply in the back left hand corner with cables that will power our GPU. Just a quick note, there are quite a few fan headers on this board, so if you wanted to use more fans inside or outside the box, you most likely could given that there are extra fan headers. Next up, we'll go over the install process, and everything is actually quite easy. First we'll install the radiator and fan attachment to the fan frame here, and then we'll move on to installing the actual GPU. Now on the back there are a few things that we need to remove to get the GPU into those two slots, but after the removal of those cages we can insert the GPU into its slot and get everything tightened down. You especially want to make sure that the backside of the GPU is tightened so that it doesn't lean in either direction and obviously so it's secure inside its box. Once that is completed, we'll go ahead and attach the power cables to our GPU, and just in case you were wondering, this will support all graphics cards straight out of the box in regards to power consumption. The fan attached to the radiator will be controlled by the GPU, so there is no need to plug that into the fan header. So it looks like we are done with this install, and all we have to do is place the cover back onto the box and get everything tightened down on the back, and then we are ready to plug in our cables to run our setup. Obviously we'll need a power cable, so let's get that plugged in and then we'll be using a DisplayPort cable as well. Just a quick side note, DisplayPort is the only connection type that has worked when using this setup, so please keep that in mind if you go with this setup yourself. Next we'll attach our Thunderbolt 3 cable and please, make sure it's Thunderbolt 3 by verifying it has the lightning bolt on the cable. If it is any other cable like USB-C or USB 3.1 Gen 2, it will not work. You also want to make sure that if you get a longer cable that it is able to handle 40 gigabit per second. I'll have a cable link down below just in case you were looking for one. After that you can turn on your box but there are a few more steps to get this NVIDIA 1080 Ti set up with your Mac using an eGPU. Unfortunately, that's as far as we go with this video, but there will be a part two on how we got this 1080 Ti to work with our iMac Pro as technically NVIDIA cards are still not supported on eGPU setups yet on Mac OS High Sierra. So make sure you get subscribed and hit that bell button to get updates on when we release our next videos because that will be coming really soon. So guys, thank you all for watching and please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions regarding this video or eGPUs in general. I'll do my best to answer those as soon as I can. Anyways, again, thank you for watching, stay tuned, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!